Hello, this is Bishop, and this is a test of Autopilot version 2018.16 EAC88A7. So we now resume this Autopilot video already in progress. So I've actually started this particular Autopilot video with Autopilot already engaged because it was coming from a different direction because it was running an errand earlier today. But we're going to go ahead and go into the same loop. So a lot of updates since last time. I apologize for not having posted a video in a while, but um, it's been quite a while since I got a software update. I was on the last version for about 45 days. That was the 10.4 version. And this is the first update that I've received in, like I said, a month and a half. So I have this update. Oh, getting a little nag screen. All right, touching the wheel. The amount of torque required to... Uh, get the wheel to acknowledge that you are in fact touching it is a little bit different from what I feel like it used to be. I feel like I have to tug it harder these days. So um, we're going into the same standard loop. So a lot, of, as I was saying, a lot of updates have happened uh, since the last time, um, including the navigation update, which came a few versions ago, although I skipped over the version that the navigation update originally came in. That's an out of band update that's occurring on cars that have reached a certain version level, but not necessarily for every car that's received that autopilot update. Ooh, that's nice. Really good job there. So it does the other way. And very good. As I mentioned, um, I am going to start doing this test on a different loop of road, just because this section doesn't really seem that challenging for the autopilot anymore. I mean, it comes, you know, kind of close to touching the line, but it handles these turns like a champ. So, the new navigation update. Um, so I did actually receive the navigation update not immediately after having gotten my software update. But one thing that I noticed, and this is kind of interesting, um, this doesn't seem to be directly related to the navigation, but before I got the, the navigation update for the beta navigation, um, I actually started getting speed limits showing up for roads that I did not previously have speed limits for. Now I checked, and unfortunately, it's still not reading speed limit signs, as nice as that would be. Um, it just was updated GPS data. Another thing that I noticed is, while well, previously, and I'll go ahead and make the right here, so we'll do a standard loop. I noticed that there were, and I mentioned this in a previous video, there are a lot of roads that are not designated as highways by the navigation or by Tesla or by whatever is making this determination. Um, that your autopilot speed is actually not capped on for some reason, even though it's supposed to be capped at five miles per hour for the speed limit. It would be a non-highway road. Oh, interesting, we've got some construction up here. Let's see how this handles. Um, it would be a non-highway road because you don't have the option of doing lane change because there's still no um, local road lane change. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna be a little distracted as I'm making sure I don't run over a cone. Okay, looking good. Uh, yes, yeah, so it would be a non-highway road. Oh, gotta slow down for school zone. And in spite of the fact that it was a non-highway road and that there would be a speed limit recorded for it um, by the GPS data, it would not necessarily cap me to five miles per hour over that speed. In fact, on a lot of roads, like I would say more roads than not, I would be able to set autopilot to be able to go at whatever speed that I wanted to. Um, this has been changing recently. And I don't know which side this is changing on, if this was changing in some of the GPS data they were getting from their black box system, or if this is something that um, Tesla was changing on their autopilot side. All right, I'm gonna bump back up to 45 now since we're past the, speed, the school zone. Um, but more and more roads have started locking me down to five miles per hour for the speed limit as they were originally designed. Um, now I've got the navigation beta. I haven't really looked into that too much, but I'm still seeing some of the new roads. One of the roads that's an example of that is the road that we actually do our standard um, turn loop on. That is a road that previously did not have a speed limit associated with it, so it would let me go all, all the way up to 45, which is the cap for what the auto steer will allow you to set for a road for which it does not have a recorded speed limit if it is determined that that road is not a highway. So because I've got some errands to run, I'm gonna go ahead and make a left here. All right, so that was our standard loop. So as I mentioned, um, the standard loop, it's really not challenging enough for autopilot anymore. So I'm in the process of looking for some new sections where I can do some more challenging tests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-record another test with this same version of autopilot, but on that more challenging section of road, and then we'll use that as the baseline for videos going forward. So for now, I'd say, yeah, everything's working as it is supposed to. Um, 
stopped car detection is working great. It still does not appear to be reading speed limit signs, although I'll do a little bit more testing on this just to be sure. Um, this is also one of the versions in which I'm supposed to start seeing cars in adjacent lanes, but I haven't tested this thoroughly because I haven't spent a lot of time on highway since I got this version. Um, the It's possible that I'm not seeing cars in adjacent lanes because I haven't been on highways, which are where, where you get the adjacent lane display anyway. Since you don't get adjacent lane display on uh, local roads, it's possible that I might, um, maybe you're not supposed to see them on local roads yet anyway. So um, I'll go ahead and end this test and yeah, be on the lookout for another video coming up here pretty soon that is going to be um, same autopilot version, but on a much more challenging section of road. So thanks for watching.